Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to look at a way to send data between forms in our C-Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms applications. As you can see here, uh, we talked previously in another set of videos about multiple forms, how we could have two forms, as you see here. We've got a Form 1 here on the left and a Form 2, and the Form 2 has a chart. And what we talked about is how we could, for example, load some data into this Form 1 and store it in a list of doubles, and then send that list of doubles via data binding to this chart and have it update the chart. And that's a nice way to do it. One of the challenges with that is that we are kind of tying this Form 2 to the Form 1. And in this video, we're going to talk about a simpler approach where there's no relationship between the forms. And in fact, you can have multiple forms all accessing the data without any knowledge of the other forms. So let's take a look at the application we're going to develop. So here's a simple application we're going to develop. It's a Form 1. It's got a text box and a couple buttons. And I'm going to press this Show Form 2, and it shows another Form 2 that also has a text box and an Update button. And I'm going to enter some data into the text box and click the Update button. And what has happened is we have closed that Form 2 button, and it has automatically sent the data so that it can be accessed by this Form 1. And I hit the Update button, and it updates our text box. And also, we have a label here with the data that we entered in the Form 2. And we can do that again and enter more data, hit Update, and then update this, and it will update the text box and the label. We're going to show you how to do that in this video. Very simple way to share data between forms. Now also, you'll notice that we have to, when we open up this Form 2 and enter data, we update it, but then we have to update again in this Form 1. So we're also going to show you how to automatically update this with the updated data. So let's take a look at our application and see how we do it. So let's first think about how we might lay this out. Um, we're going to start out with our Form 1. We've got a text box, a label, and a couple buttons. And we're going to press this Show Form 2. And it's going to show this Form 2 with a text box and a button. So how are we going to share data between these two forms in a way that doesn't require that one form is aware of the other form? And it can be kind of a central repository, so I can op open up 20 forms and access the exact same data. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add a class, a public static class. We'll call it app data, And it will have, in our case, a public static string, which is the input text. So whatever text we enter into this input box, it will send that to this app data class. It will store that text so that any other form that we develop can readily grab that data because it's public and static. So then this Form 1 is going to be able to, when I hit this Update button, it's going to grab that data and use it however it wants. Now, again, the downside is we have to hit the Update here, and then we have to update the Form 1. That may be fine for you. However, you want this to be automatic instead of having to press an Update button. What are some ways we can do it? Well, we could use events. We could find some sort of event that when this app data is updated, it will automatically update this form. Or a very simple approach is to use a timer. If you've already got timers going on in your application, you know, every time step, you could, hey, grab that data, make sure that it's updated in Form 1. We could also use, like we showed before, data binding. We showed how to bind the um, data to the lists in order to update the chart. There's other ways to do the data binding. We're going to show that. But first, we'll start out with a very simple approach of how to set up this class and access the data from either form. So here is our simple c -sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application. And all I've done is gone into the project. I called it Multiforms. And right-click and went to Add New Item. And the first thing I added was a form, Windows Forms, and I left it at the default of Form 2 is the name. 
I also added a class and that is the class we're going to call app data. So that's all you have to add to the project. And you, over here you can see I've got a form one, a form two, and an app data class. So first we'll look at the form one design. And here I've got a text box. I've got a button that says show form two, and then an update button. And in the form two design, I've got a text box, which I call TXT input, and then a button to uh, update the data. Now the class, we're going to call it public static class app data. And as we showed before, public static string TXT input with a getter and setter. Now you can set this um, to limit access however you want, but this is just a simple way to uh, make it available. So if we go to form one, all it's got is the event handlers for those two buttons. One is the show and one is the update. And as you can imagine, the show, this just shows the form two. And we're going to use a using statement just to make sure this gets cleaned up. And we're going to say form, form two is a new form two and feed it this form one. And we're going to say form two show dialog. So it's going to be a dialog window form two. So that's what gets us the form two that's going to look like this. And then the control goes over to form two. And form two, all it has is an initialized component. And when we press that update button, I called it button send. Uh, what it does is it just says the app data string called txt input is equal to whatever the user entered in this text box in form two, this txt input. And it just assigns that to the string in app data. And then uh, you don't have to do this, but I close that form two. You can leave it open, but that just automatically closes it. So now what we've done is we have basically set this app data string to whatever the user input. And now when we go back to form one, if the user clicks on this button update, all it does is it says, okay, go to this app data, whatever this TXT input is, set it as the text in text box one and also in label one, set that string into both of those controls and we're all done. So really very simple way to do it and a nice way to, you know, you can do this with 20 different forms and all they're doing there is they're accessing this public data that makes it very easy. You don't have to worry about any other interfacing between these different forms. So now let's look at a technique we can use. There's a number of techniques. We're going to look at one very simple one that we can use to automatically check and update our form one if we had made a change in our form two to the text, instead of having to press the update, it will automatically update the controls in form one. And the way we can do that is by using what you see down here is a timer. So I've gone in the toolbox, I've drag and dropped a timer, and you can see the properties over here. I set it for 500 milliseconds or half a second. And if you double click on it, in form one, you're going to see this timer one event handler and all you have to do is say anytime that every half second when that timer one tick event happens, update the text box and the label on the form one to whatever is in the app data text input. So it's a very nice way to very simply update what's in your form one with whatever you have changed in the form two. And you can do that for any type of data. It's really nice and easy. If you don't want to do data binding, if that gets kind of complicated, this is a really nice way to do it. So let's start this up and see how it works. So here is my form one. I'm going to show form two and I'm going to add data and press update and automatically that data appears in the text box in the label for form one. And we can press it again and enter some data, hit update and it automatically updates. So that's a very nice clean way to update your form when you modify with another form. So that's it for this one. I encourage you to look at my other videos where I talk about multiple forms and data binding and sending data to charts and that kind of thing. So if you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, 
But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.